Hey what's up guys welcome to WebDevMatics. In this video we are going to talk about progressive web apps or PWA. So we'll discuss about what are they and how to build them. So basically it is getting started with PWA. So let me show you before let, uh, showing you let me give you an idea what it is. So PWA are like alternative to native mobile apps so it is a mobile oriented strategy of creating web application so they are uh, like your simple web application but you can install or you can put them on mobile so i will show you in a moment so they are fast reliable and we can do push notification and uh, different things that we can do on normal web application so let me give you example of web application that we are going to build in this video so this is a simple view uh, website or application like Pomodoro clock. You can set a session of clock and just you work for 25 uh, minutes and then break for five minutes. So this is a simple clock. How it is different from uh, the normal website is so if you go here, here is option for install Pomodoro saying you can install this. So this is basically PWA. You can install from here as well. So it will say install. So if you install, you will see it opens as normal Chrome application. You can find all application here in apps, Chrome apps. So here you can open it up separately. All right. So before we are showing that on our normal website. So at this location, it is available. You can open from browser or from app all right so same thing for mobile uh, so let me show you it in mobile so I have this Android virtual device so first uh, workflow is user go to our website like so suppose this is our website and so normally this is normal app but in this case we have made it progressive web app so that what you can do here is you can uh, in option here is option called add to home screen so if you go ahead and click on add what it will do is uh, it will if you see here yeah so it will add that icon on your home screen so you can directly access that website from here so it is much more than website it is like a native application you can open it up like native app any other app do refresh like native app so there are option offline uses also when there is no internet connection it will normally work so much more so this is basic idea behind progressive web app so uh, now let's discuss discuss how to create this so we can uh, in this video I will talk about how to do it using Vue CLI. So I'm assuming that you already know Vue and made some project using Vue. If not, there are a couple of tutorials in this channel or in any other channel. So first step is to create a new project using Vue CLI. Let's open up a terminal. So make sure you got view CLI just type in view dash v so if you uh, go and let me make it a bit bigger all right all right so if you uh, by the way if you don't have this view CLI installed you can install using so this is basically the command so I've already done that so I will create a new app view create and the name of app Pomo let's call it this so when you hit create it will ask for normal so this is a normal uh, workflow of creating new app but there is an option called pwa support all right so select manually so here different options that you can select using spacebar or unselect using same spacebar so there is pwa support just check it in and check in any other so we'll be needing uh, needing router. So if you don't need router, this is simple app. We don't need this. 
linter no need of that let's hit enter in dedicated config files save this preset no so it will initialize and create new project so it will take a while by the way i have already created a project i will switch to that so i will open that i've already opened that on vs code yeah so this is uh, the no, uh, default app that you'll get after that command so while doing pwa support what we got is two file basically inside public there is manifest dot json and there is another file inside source which is called service workers .js. all right register service worker .js. so uh, these two files make it pwa so let me talk about manifest.json first so here uh, what we are doing is if uh, we put this manifest.json inside our public folder what our browser will do is browser uh, will read this file and uh, make it available this option called install option so if there is manifest.json inside your application let me open again then you you can see this install option so i've already installed that's why it is not showing so if you have already installed that application it will not show i will remove it first and then go again now if you go here you should see install pomodoro so uh, you can uh, configure those options here inside manifest so you can change different name like uh, clock app so you can provide different icons like so like so and start URL uh, start in our case it is home URL so if you want your start uh, URL from about page you can do that as well all right so after you defined all of specification for your app what we need to do is go to index.html and just include that file over here all right so that's it so after you do that you have this option to install boom all right so that is cool so you can now at this point you can install your app in mobile or in your chrome so uh, currently uh, all of modern browsers support this pwa you you'll have this option manifest.json will be read by these browsers so if you go on mobile and and you hit this url so currently this 127.0.1 is local host, local host for uh, my computer but i'm using android virtual device so for it this is the local host 10.0.2.2 so you can test on your mobile uh, device as well physical device real mobile uh, for that you need to deploy it or use ng rock and make sure you have android studio and android virtual device yeah we, we can deploy it and see there so for now uh, let's uh, understand from this so next what we'll do is uh, so by the way i have this pomodoro view there is home dot view so i put some code of this uh, so that you don't have to see me type uh, code all this so this is normal code uh, for creating pomodoro i have taken it from taken this code from here view example dot uh, com and from this code pan just copy css js and html and i made one component called so i've just put it inside home dot view just html inside template and just inside the script all js uh, just make sure you do this data I'll, I'll put this code on github you can download from there if you want this code 
and inside index i have just included uh, that css file separately inside pomo.css so that's it so that's what i have already done uh, all right so next let's talk about this service workers so what are these service workers so these are uh, basically um, um, program or something you can call it service worker but it is already inside your browser which are uh, responsible for manipulating different data and basically we use this for offline uses so if uh, if you are not connected to uh, internet your app shouldn't show that uh, dinosaurus like icon like this page that's why service worker uh, the, uh, they are responsible for displaying for caching all these pages and displaying even if you are not connected to internet all right so this is basically for offline uses so if you open tab 2 and inside application and there is service workers option so here you can see a uh, service worker what are service worker that are active so currently this service worker is active here and it is running so in console also you can see service worker has been registered all right so so basically you will do in view cli npm run serve run serve to run it locally so for service worker specifically uh, especially uh, you don't need uh, that npm serve will not work because the service worker are intended intended to be work on production environment not on local because in local uh, we need updated data because we are constantly changing code so while uh, doing th uh, those so cast resources will make it a bit difficult to test and all stuff so basically they are for production environment that's why we need to deploy so you don't need to deploy it right away because if you go this url while after doing npm run serve you will not see yeah so in this url you you will not see service workers set application yeah no workers so in uh, if you are working with service worker what you need to do is you need you first need to uh, deploy it like so first run npm npm run build so this is command that we run uh, before deploying all right so uh, building for production what it will do is it will create uh, it will create uh, yeah so it will create this uh, dist folder over here all right so this dist folder contains all of uh, the code from source folder all minified and all other optimization for production so after doing that you'll need one app called there are two options or uh, you can you can install npm install sgtp server or you can just install this chrome plugin web server for chrome just search for web server for chrome and just install it this one so i've installed so what uh, after installing just click on it and here what we need to do it yeah over here so what we need to do is just choose folder that you want to serve just go to your project folder and just point to dist and select this dist folder so and then web is started at this location just go here and now if you open this it will work as your production server and you see your service worker working over here all right so that's the way to see service workers so even if uh, so now you don't need to do anything uh, just even if your internet is down you should see this page so currently yeah even if internet is down you should see for example let's close this server let's close so look at here in this uh, port so currently we are serving so now i close this server so basically ideally what should happen is uh, when server is closed you should see some server not found or some page offline page but in this case it is working perfectly fine look yeah so if you do hard refresh it will show like this for a moment but 
uh, after some second it will just uh, collect all the cached resources and show the offline page this page all right so that's really cool so even if you are offline you can uh, make use of this website or app whatever you want to call so yeah like so so same thing will happen in mobile also so even if you close wi-fi yeah let me close the wi-fi and let's refresh and it should work same same for this app version so this is app version look there is no um, status bar url bar nothing no bookmark it just works like normal app so pretty cool you can just change sessions you can do many things you can reset it make longer session yeah so this is how uh, progressive web app works so this is a uh, very basic fast progressive web app uh, hope you find it helpful so what we can do further is we can access camera we can uh, access the native uh, features from here uh, we can do push notifications so that it will show over here inside this here so we can do a lot of things with this so this is uh, the basic uh, app so in future videos we might add some more features and touch some more advanced topic related to progressive web apps so i will see you on next video so till then bye